hello guys and welcome back so as you know that in the previous video we have added our environment and our player character now in this video what we're gonna do we will be adding the new input system to our unity project since many of you guys were requesting from a long time that create a game using the new input system in unity okay so if you click on windows then right here click on package manager and inside the package manager make sure that your packages menu is set to unity registry okay and then in the unity registry you can search for input system like this okay it will give you this input system package so just simply click on install after that it will give you this uh, warning window so just simply click on yes and when you do that it will simply restart your uh, unity project okay so now let's just wait for this to load so now inside our game folder let's create a new folder by the name of scripts okay and in here what we're gonna do we will click on create and at the bottom let me actually show you this menu a little bit above because you will not see it since the screen is cut at the bottom okay so let me do it right here okay it is still not showing in the recording let me actually minimize this Okay, let me move it. Oops. Okay, let me move it right here. Now let's check it out. So it is still not showing. So what I will do, I will move this project window right here. Okay. And as you can see, we are still inside the scripts folder. Okay, right here. Now if I click on create okay so now you can see this input actions at the bottom okay this was uh, not showing in the screen so that's why i did this okay i have uh, removed the project window so that you guys can see this option right here okay input action so create an input action and let's name this as player controls okay and when you do that now let's move this back again right here and after that if you click on this uh, player controls you will see this option right here in the inspector which is generate uh, C sharp class so we will click that and then click apply okay now if we double click on it it will open up this thing right here as you can see and in here we will create a new action map so just simply click on it and let's name this as player movement okay and in here let me delete this new action from there because we will be creating a new one now click on this plus icon and let's name this one as movement okay let's change the action type to pass through and let's change the control type of this to vector 2 okay and the reason we set this to vector 2 because our movement will be in uh, two direction okay forward backward left and right or you can say the X and Y now if we click on this binding okay so this is not the binding which we will be needing so what I will do I will simply delete this and then on the movement you can see this plus uh, button or you can say the add binding button just click on it and right here select this add up down left right composite so create that let's name this as WASD since these are uh, our uh, buttons okay this will be our buttons 
on which we will be moving our player character forward backward left and right okay so right here in the up right here in the up select the path and in the path why is it not showing it is not showing that correctly but uh, let's just search in there for W so it will give you this W keyboard so select it okay and then for the down we will uh, type S and when you type S it will give you this one S keyboard okay so select S keyboard because our player will be moving in the backward direction using the S key then for the left we will type A and then select A keyboard and then for the right we will press T and then select T keyboard okay and also if you click on WASD right here make sure that you change the mode of this from uh, digital normalized to analog okay guys let me tell you one thing more that if you want to make this game uh, for any other gaming stations like Xbox or PlayStation then you can also add the controls for the uh, joystick as well so in order to add the control for the joystick just simply right here create a up down left right composite again and as you know that on the joystick the movement is controlled using the left stick so I will just simply name this as left stick as well and then make this analog as well on the up you will need to search for left stick let me actually type it again so left stick then slash up okay make sure that you select this one left stick up gamepad then for the down you need to search for left stick slash down okay this one and make sure that you select this gamepad okay because this works for all of the joysticks and then for the left one you just need to search for left stick slash left gamepad and then uh, in the last one we need to search left stick slash right gamepad Okay. now once you do this now if you click on this uh, close sign it will give you this window so make sure that you save all of these changes or else it will not be safe okay so now inside the scripts folder let's actually create another folder by the name of player controls and in the player controls let's add these two scripts okay and then in here we will create a new C sharp script by the name of input manager then after this what we're gonna do right here is we will add our player character so inside the prefabs you will find these characters so you can use any of the character just simply drag and drop it in here like this okay click on prefab unpack completely let's name this as player right here let's remove this uh, animator component for for now and click on scripts player controls and drag and drop the input manager right there okay then let's open up the input manager script and on this script now we will read the values from our keyboard WSD buttons okay so whenever the player uh, 
click the W or S key then we will change the Y value and if the player presses the AD then we will press the X value okay so what we can do we will remove that first of all and at the top we will add a reference to our player controls script okay so let's name this as player controls as well and you will be thinking where this player controls comes from this is this player control script okay which we created from this player control input action okay when we uh, click on this generate c sharp class it created this script and the reason we created this script so that we can access all of the um, buttons or you can say the controls and then by using that controls we will be able to uh, move our player or interact in the environment using different buttons okay so now right here we will create a on enable method okay so if the game object on which this script is attached is enable and if it is enable then we will read the inputs okay so first of all we will check if the player controls is equals to null okay and if it is equals to null then the player controls will be equals to new player controls okay then after this we will say player controls dot player movement and let me tell you this player movement is coming from uh, this uh, player controls action maps okay this is our player movement so now player controls dot player movement then dot movement then we will say dot performed plus equals to i and then equals to greater than the movement input let's just actually declare the movement uh, input vector 2 so we will say public vector 2 let's name this as movement input okay so now this will be equals to i dot read value then we will say vector 2 right here change this from i and t to just i okay and after this if condition we will say player controls dot enable all right after this we will create a on disable method and in here we will just simply say player controls dot disable that is it so now what will happen whenever this uh, movement buttons are were pressed or the joystick is used okay so it will basically read the values from that controller or from that keyboard and then we're going to show that values right here in the movement input x and y okay so let's go ahead and play the game now as i told you if we press the w or the s key the y value will change as you can see y is now one and y is now minus one and now if we use the a and d key as we can see minus one x is minus one and now x is one when we press the d key okay so in this way now you can notice that our inputs are right there working perfectly fine 
and now once we have the inputs now in the next video what we're gonna do we will make some uh, basic player movement so see you guys in the next one